chapter wise list of all my videos is available at this point for dvd pen drive please write an email to me these videos they do not require internet they play offline there is no problem of buffering and please subscribe to my channel for regular updates thank you thank you for your support once again AC is the diameter of the circumcircle of triangle ABC. Let us first of all draw a schematic diagram. Let this be a circle. AC is the diameter of the circumcircle of triangle ABC. In this let us suppose this is the diameter AC. And AC is the diameter of the circle also. It is one of the sides of the triangle ABC also. So we can say that the triangle could be like this. So this is the triangle ABC and AC is and this is the center let us suppose of the circle. Then AC has been given to us as the diameter. And this circle is the circumcircle of this triangle ABC. So A, C and B, all the three vertices, they lie on this circle. Next he says, chord ED is parallel to the diameter AC. We have a chord ED here. We could draw it either way. ED is parallel to the diameter AC. These two lines are parallel to each other. If angle CBE is 50, now C, B and E will have to join these by a let us say dotted line. So this angle has been given to us as 50 degrees. And we have to find out then the measure of angle DEC is what? That is we have to find out the measure of this angle DEC. Let us join E and C also. So we have to find out the value of this angle from the help of this diagram. Let us now open our mind and see what information has been given to us and how we can utilize it. First of all, let us start with our triangle ABC only. AC is the diameter. B is a point on the circle. Therefore, this angle ABC is an angle in a semicircle. So we can say that this entire angle is going to be an angle of 90 degrees. If this is 90 degrees and this portion is 50 degrees, then obviously this angle that I am marking here is going to be an angle of 40 degrees. 40 this, 50 this will complete it 90. And this is the angle in semicircle. So the entire ABC is 90 degrees out of which 50 has been given and we have deduced that the remaining part should be 40. So that was one situation that was given to us. The second fact is also given chord ED is parallel to the diameter AC. This chord is parallel to the diameter AC. So if this angle is X then EC can be seen as a transversal and therefore this angle will also be X. We are deducing everything logically. All the concepts of geometry whether of parallel lines, angles in a semicircle, these all concepts are being used in one way or the other. Now can you see that the answer is just one step away? I assert that angle X will be 40 degrees. Try to look at it. Now here is I show. See this segment, uh, see this arc AE. 
This arc AE is subtending an angle of 40 degrees with the help of point B on the circle. This and also simultaneously let us now have a look at this side of the diagram. The same arc is subtending X on the circle with the help of point C. So therefore, angles in the same segment, they have to be equal. And hence, if this is 40, this angle X will also be 40 degrees, which is the required answer. All these questions that I am discussing have been taken from the previous year's papers. And I do not see any toughness level in them. You only have to use the geometrical facts on the basis of the figures. And this all makes these questions even otherwise interesting. Let us move to our next question now. Two circles of radii 9 cm and 2 cm respectively have centers X and Y and XY is 17 cm. This part of the question needs to be understood first. We have two circles radii 9 and 2. Their centers are X and Y. This distance between their centers is 17. We can see that the radii will add to 9 and to 11. And this distance is more. This means the two circles are not touching each other. So let us first of all draw two circles to help us visualize the things. This point can be marked as X and this radius is 9 cm. The radius of this is 2 cm. This point can be marked as X dash. If we join X and X dash together, then this entire distance has been given to us as 17 cm. Circle of radius R cm with center Z touches the two given circles externally if x, z, y is 90. If the circle lies, z lies somewhere here, then x, z, y, this point is not x dash, I have to write it as y because in question he has given as y. So basically, this is a circle which is touching these two circles and this center has been given as z. He says, circle of radius R with center Z touches the two given circles externally if X, Z, Y is 90. Let us join X and Z together and Z and Y also. This angle has been given to us as 90 degrees. He says, the if this angle is 90, then this bigger circle or the third circle will touch both of them externally. The radius of this is R. The radius of this point will also be R. And this is 9 cm has been given to us. This has been given to us as 2 cm, the radius of this circle. And this is a 90 degree angle. Now we have to find out the value of R. What is R? Now it is a very simple matter. We can see that the triangle XYZ is 90 degrees. So apply Pythagoras theorem to triangle XYZ. So we can say that this is the hypotenuse 17 square will be equal to this square of this side, which is 9 plus R plus this side, which is 9 plus uh, 2 plus R whole square. Square of this side plus square of this side has to be equal to the square of the hypotenuse, which is 17. Let us now open all these squares. We'll have to go through that process. 
17 square is known to be 289. Now I can apply the formula a plus b whole square which will be a square plus 2 into 9 into b plus r square plus a square plus 2ab plus b square this will be equal to this is 81 plus 18r plus r square 9 to 18 9 square 81 plus this will be 4 this will also be 4 plus r square now I can combine this and this which is equal to 2r square I will also combine this and this plus 22r and combine this and this plus 85. Now I will bring 289 to this side and subtract it from 85. I will get 2r square plus 22r. Now when 85 subtracts 289, what do we get? 204. So I will write minus 204 equal to 0. Because 85 is smaller, 289 is bigger, it will be minus 204. Now this is 222, 204. We can remove the factor of 2. This is r square plus 11r minus divided by 2 it will be 102 equal to 0. Now I have to solve this quadratic equation. As I told you during my discussion of quadratic equations, we have to find two numbers whose sum is 11 and whose product is minus 102. Now by inspection we can say that two such numbers are 17 and minus 6 because 17 into minus 6 is minus 102 and 17 and minus 6 when added they will give me plus 11. So two such numbers have been found. The two roots of this would be you can view my earlier videos where I gave these shortcut methods. The two roots would be 17 by minus this a minus 1 and minus 6 by minus of this which implies minus 17 and plus 6 are the roots but r cannot be negative so remove it the only possible value is plus 6 therefore 6 centimeter is the answer this question required you to have an understanding of a right angle triangle and the Pythagoras theorem and the quadratic equations. All those concepts have been used in this question. The answer ultimately is 6 cm. Let us now move on to our next question.